Fall anime season returns, and we're back with more coverage right before New York Comic Con. I'm going to try to knock out some of these reviews out for you guys before we get super busy. So today we're going to be reviewing the anime, The Human Crazy University. And of course, welcome to TacosGeeks.com and welcome to our YouTube channel. If you're watching this on YouTube, this is Justin, and I will be your reviewer. And as always, I give you a brief synopsis. So here we go. Sataki is a prisoner on death row for murdering his fiance. He also is an undead man who has survived many desperate situations. For this, he has earned the interest of a research institution called Human Crazy University, which studies real-life miraculous phenomenons and the people who become entangled in them. Now a subject of their research, Sataki relates to them his memories of his immortal, yet unhappy life. Why did he kill his fiance? Soon enough, the truth sheds light on a much bigger conspiracy and this is a very unique anime and i will say once again another breath of fresh air from the typical anime styles that we get here and one thing i do like first of all is the art style is a little bit different than what you're used to seeing in anime even with the way they walk in the animation it's it, it might appear cheap for some but you know what i actually thought it works for this type of anime and it worked for me i will say that the story so far episode one was engaging I was actually surprised because I was actually surprised of kind of the tone shift that they did because the anime starts off like you would think it was some type of drama the way they were really hammering home death row and the whole idea of death and they were talking about how certain patients at this particular prison um, when they know that death is coming that they unfortunately commit well they commit suicide. And they commit suicide because they're scared of actually going towards their death, which I think it's kind of ironic. And I thought that they did a really good job of establishing our main character here. But it was crazy because I thought one of the first 10 minutes where they were focusing on this cop who was building a relationship with our main character. And I thought he was actually the main character until they kind of did that shift. Like, no, this guy's just a, he's the supporting cast because they were going into the, uh, the cop's backstory about his sister, how they liked this book. And they were really bonding. And one thing I thought is because the, the cop, you, I thought he was getting, I thought this was going to be like a series where this cop is getting attached to this person on death row. They're building up this bromance or this relationship, uh, a friendship. And he's going to feel guilty, you know, about putting this guy to death. And I like this one particular scene, not to spoil anything, but there's this one particular scene where the warden calls him in. He's like, look, man, don't get attached. This guy's a vicious killer. He did X and X and X to this, his, you know, his fiance. And when you hear and see what he did, you're like, oh, this guy's a monster. And I'm not supposed to feel sorry for him. But then the, once again, the show does something that makes you go, okay, this is going to be an interesting concept. And I'm not going to go into spoilers and territory like that, but something happens that he ends up at this particular university. And I thought that this concept that they're going for and what they're going with is going to be very interesting. And it's engaging enough for me to recommend this as a must watch. I thought it was a breath of fresh air. I thought the voice acting was good. The animation and the art style might turn off some viewers. Some might see this as a little bit more Americanized, but I think it's just kind of a homage to the old school anime designs that we used to get in the early 80s, early 90s. Um, some of, like I said, some of the walking animations, some might people might be turned off, but I say so far, the character, our main protagonist, the concept of this human crazy university and how these phenomena are happening, I thought is a very interesting uh, concept, and I'm very interested in it. So I'm definitely going, like I said, I'm giving this a, mu a must watch. And don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. What are you watching so far in full anime 2022? Are you excited? Stay tuned for all our coverage coming to this channel from New York Comic Con. We're going to have interviews. I'm going to be doing a walkthrough. We'll have B-roll footage, everything. So it's going to be a fun, very busy week. Got tons of stuff I still got to review. So we still got only not only anime. I got to review the new Hellraiser. I got a couple of screenings um, from Amazon that I got to review from Peacock. So you guys are going to get a whole lot of content. And of course, UWL Super Slam of this day, October 5th, 2022. UWL Super Slam is October 22nd. It's our big uh, WWE 2K show that we're going to be doing. So make sure you uh, subscribe to that and check us out. This is Justin from Tacos the Geek saying later days. Everybody, thank you for the support. Catch you on the next one. Peace.